all our students hope you enjoying the videos and now we continue with the news group in the previous page about news group definition we explained here this is computer application class 10 unit 1 chapter 1 and video part 8 and i am jp nodial so here and the chapter is internet basics so the next topic is blogger blogging advantages disadvantages url already discussed then differences already discussed and now we can subscribe to various news groups it can either be done online or by creating a news account in the news client software for example in news groups are alt.tennis alt.astrology computer.language.c++ etc news group a news group or forum is online community bulletin board where users can post messages respond or posted messages respond to the posted messages or just read them group of related messages are known as threads so in the coming further sections we will discuss about here is a note the online worldwide conversation is called usenet so using a news group let us say if we want to join a group on html so we need to search for it first of all and what all groups are there and then subscribe to it or join it what we did to accomplish this ask is begin summarized below now just we will say this that the news group are also called the club or bulletin board or the message board the times number 1 to search the html news group or club we first open the club site like yahoo or we open the page groups.yahoo.com and searched for html in it so right now the computer is not connected with the internet so i cannot show you that but uh, later on when we will work on that then i will uh, definitely show you here the in, in internet is not possible here inside the room so for that i take my laptop outside and the signal the mobile is connected with this so there are so many limitations so i cannot so number second is now it displayed some results according to our search query it is that html search everywhere we select html for you this is the figure and to become member of the club we clicked at join the club in link and followed the instruction given by the site so once we became the member and we could be able to post the messages or clicking by the post then typing the desired message in the box so a message can be read by clicking at its title one can reply the message by clicking at the reply button like what we are doing nowadays in the whatsapp and all these concepts will become more in the coming when we practice on the online then we will come to know then this is the yahoo messenger and through yahoo messenger we can type the messages and select in the desired club to join now come to the next topic and that is html now the world wide web is an exciting news new medium now bringing information images advertising and what do not what not to every desktop now we know that everything that we see on the web is document written in a special language is called html that is hypertext markup language so this language tells the browsers like mosaic netscape or internet explorer how to display text picture and links on the screen html was invented in 1990s by tim berners lee as we can make you out from the full form of the hypertext mark html that is markup language for hypertext 
HTML hypertext that is the markup language for hypertext. Let us understand the term made by HTML. So hypertext, hypertext is a special type of digital text that contain the link to the other text. It is just the way web operations. You find many links on web pages clicking on which takes us to the other pages markup. It refers to a special symbol or instructions indicating the format, style or structure for an electronic document or web page. Now markup language. It is a set of standards, well designed tags, structure etc. to create an appropriate markup scheme for an electronic document such as a web page. Consider the following code and this is the HTML first type of document and then body HTML is starting from here then body is starting then heading one is hello world and here is the close of heading one and then close of body this body starts from here and close here HTML is starting from here HTML ending here now HTML code the result of this HTML is like this now as you can see that the part A of the above source markup something like this HTML body and heading one and then these are various tags of HTML that define the markup in details we will learn about the HTML coding in the coming chapter so rest things we discuss let us see the demo here now I will show you the demo that how we can create a page like this we start here HTML this is not case sensitive you can write the capital letter and in a small letter as well then body body of the page now here I'm starting here heading one now now close heading one here and then close body here then close HTML here and this is you can see here this is HTML type of document and body of the document here we are writing heading one hello world and then closing of body and closing of now we save the file save as in the proper location like I am choosing here the document it's okay so in the document we save as HTML document so this is test dot test one dot html okay now we click here save and when we save close now we can see here the folder the document you can see here test one and the logo is changed for chrome so if we click double click see the output here hello world can see here the output and if we open this in chrome can see this is the output of hello world heading one so this is the demo so this is okay the same thing hope you enjoyed